Hello and welcome to the 21st in my series, Proverbially Speaking, Reflections on Verses from the Book of Proverbs. If you enjoy this, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom and also subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page and you will be alerted to our Sunday morning worship services, which we stream live and which you can watch at a later point as well as our Sunday morning Bible studies and our Sunday evening services, which are put on YouTube at 6 p.m. on Sunday evenings and performed by our pastor, Mark. So let me begin as I usually do with a prayer. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for the patience and the grace you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts are pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, so for today, since I'm doing this right before uh, Thanksgiving, and in the spirit of the Thanksgiving dinner, I've chosen the first six verses of Proverbs 9. In my Bible, it is titled, Wisdom's Invitation. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. She has prepared her food. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the tops of the heights of the city. Whoever is naive, let him turn in here. To him who lacks understanding, she says, come eat of my food and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake your folly and live and proceed in the way of understanding. So I like to think of these verses as equating wisdom to a mother who has built a welcoming home and invited all to her feast. What a wonderful thought for this Thanksgiving. The house is warm and comforting, the seven pillars representing the completeness of the preparations. She has prepared food to fill the bellies, drink to lighten the spirits. She invites all, the naive, those who need her nourishment. Wisdom invites all to partake, to forsake the hunger of folly, to truly live. As we sit to eat with our families and friends this Thanksgiving holiday, let us think of the woman who has welcomed us into her home. Let us thank our Lord for preparing a home, a table, our nourishment and our joy, and calls us to be wise to know all we should be thankful for. I hope these thoughts have helped you this Thanksgiving time, and I'm wishing you all well and thanking you for everything that you did.